I'm a paint can in a paint program. I fill regions with the shade of your choice. I got bad code, and sometimes I miss spots. It's a sad hood, and it's breaking my heart. Then a good girl, crazy about Python, checked me out and she cleaned up my code. I was shocked when I saw how she did it. I'm just six lines and I talk to myself. Now I'm real. Yeah, I'm re recursive. Things were great then. I never had problems. I could fill up most any old shape till the sad day. Recursion depth exceeded and my code crashed and left a broken heart. Though I'm re recursive, I am re recursive. So here's how the recursive algorithm works. Clicking on a white square starts the paint can running. First, it checks to see whether the square it's on is white. If it's not, the filling can stop. That's a termination condition, and every recursive routine needs one. In this case, it's white, so the paint can turns it blue. The next statement is a recursive call to fill the area to the paint can's right. The recursive call essentially creates another paint can in this position. The new paint can goes through the same series of steps, perhaps even calling its own paint cans to fill in the area around it. Eventually, all the new paint cans finish their jobs. Then, after the original paint can has checked to make sure all its surrounding squares are painted, it too terminates and the process is complete. So my hacker, she came to my rescue, I got denser but much more robust. Got a stack now. It's like a to-do list. And I check it to know where to paint. Now I'm re- Now I'm recursive. Now recursive. I'm recursive. Now I'm recursive. Now I was re- Recursion might seem sort of weird and circular, but self-similarity and self-reference turn out to be really important. Recursion shows up in human languages, plant shapes, simple and complex mathematics, divide and conquer algorithms, and many other places. Why, it's even in your family tree. As long as there's a termination condition, the circularity isn't a problem.